the truffle hog tool can find secrets embedded in our source code. Once we identify the secrets, we can manage those by moving them off into some kind of a secrets manager like HashiVault or just use the native ones in the cloud. For example, GCP, Azure, Amazon all have key managers that can be used. If you need to install truffle hog, you can use the pip command line tool. Do pip install and then truffle hog with capital H. That'll get the libraries installed and also the, the main tool. To use it, we pointed at our code repository. We're going to use this GitHub repo from Matilda as an example. By default, it's going to use the regular expression scanner and the entropy scanner. And which scanner works better for a project is completely going to depend on the project. In the case of Matilda, there's a lot of comments with high entropy strings that look like credentials or maybe that are examples of credentials. And so for this particular project, using the entropy scan may not be the best choice. But that doesn't mean it's not going to be good for another project. Each project is going to uh, be better with the regular expression scanner or with the entropy scanner or perhaps both. In this example, Matilda works better with the pattern matching scanner, but it's just coincidence. Projects can go either way. When there's a lot of confidence, you'll notice that uh, the output turns green. And then there's also inside the source code, it may find some strings as well. And you'll notice that in this case, it's high entropy strings and those will be yellow. And so you'll find, see that it prints out the source code and the location. Let's say that we wanted to just use the regular expression scanner. We can say regex to turn that on. And then for the entropy scanner, we'll just turn that off. And now we'll get just the regular expression scan without the entropy scan. So it depends on the application, which one is going to be the best. But because this runs against the code repo, it's easy to automate this within the DevOps pipeline, whether it's from some kind of a GitHub action or through some other means of automating the check. But we also see here that we can do a quick sanity check on our code as well, or if you're doing application penetration testing, you'd want to use this technique to check for secrets as well. So truffle hog is kind of like detect secrets or get secrets where it's looking for any kind of secrets embedded in the source code of the project, going up against the repo, easy to automate, and definitely something to add to your software composition analysis.